Shepard! We managed to overcome the trial. Now we have a chance against the malevolence of the Cardinal. The Fortin I remember was sincere and devout, with a sense of responsibility second to none. How could she do something like this? No, perhaps I don't have the right to say such things. Malevolence in the hearts of mankind sure is complicated. Yeah. I do hope we find a way to bring salvation to them. Someday. Agreed. If anyone can do it, you can. I wonder what's happening in Pendrago now. If we take too much time, Sergei and his brigade may be forced into a situation where they need to take action. It would also give Fortin more time to devise a trap. Don't even say that! Just stating a fact. Though it is a shame. Yeah. If we don't do anything, the situation won't get any better. That's for sure. Is that so? There's more of those dogs now. Maybe Dezel has some new friends? Well, that's no good. He's talking with those dogs. From a normal person's perspective, I bet we don't look any less weird. Don't lump me together with those mutts. But the dogs do feel the same, in a good way. Those dogs are so mature. If they're mature, then so am I. Give me some credit for once. <laughs> sort of rhyme or reason to what happens when you fuse equipment? Great question, Rose. You're right. There's nothing random in the fusion of equipment. Can you just tell it to me short and simple before I fall asleep? Sure. First, the rules for fusing two different equipment skills only apply to those located in the same slot. So it actually does matter which slot each skill is positioned at. Yes. What skill is placed in which slot is a very important factor in equipment fusion. So it's important to... Well, it's... Huh? Are you asleep? that here I'll do you a favor
here they are. Let's get started. Weapons ready! Pressure, I yeah! Up the blade! Yeah! Three! Yeah! Three! Yeah! Three! 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 Is your sword style so Shall we go? Shall we begin? When you learn to nail it, so good! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! 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 I'm
overdo it, Rose. Don't even try it. You'll just injure yourself. I remember this place was in the Celestial Record. Serene, so, I'm ready. Don't overdo it, Rose. <laughs> Quite strong.
is radiant, Edna. There should be a vista point nearby. Not again. I hate these constant rain showers. Oh, a shower! We could use the spiritual power of fire to heat up the rain, make it fresh and cleansing! Sounds splendid! Shall we give it a try? I'm not sure this is what the powers are meant for. Shepard, there you are. The Church has asked the Emperor to have the Platinum Knights subdued and disbanded. They have been accused of instating a false Shepard and plotting a rebellion. That was quick. Do you think they already got word of events in Gadadin? This is because I got involved. You're no fake. They're just making up excuses to do what they want. Go see the Captain in the Knight's Tower if you want to know more. Cardinal Fortin, we can't underestimate her for a second. Well, I'm ready on my end. Bring it on, church lady. Soray, Thank goodness you're safe. Is it true the Cardinal has ordered the suppression of the Knights? It is. I suspect this letter we received was the last straw.
I, Boris Strelka, have witnessed Cardinal Fortin engaging in an unspeakable ritual. Using vile magic in the Holy Shrine, the Cardinal is unleashing incessant rains upon Pendrago. The Cardinal is the one making it rain? You can't be serious! Considering the power of her domain, it isn't all that far-fetched. There are Seraphim out there who've moved the continent. Moved the whole continent? Saray, let's continue reading. Cardinal Fortin is the evil behind the ongoing curse of the Empire and its people. Regrettably, I have already fallen prey to the curse of the Cardinal. I entrust the rest to my brother, Sergei, and my comrades. If it's come to this, then we have no choice but to fight against the Cardinal. Saray, where's the Pope? There's something I need to tell everyone about that, but you might not like it. I see. So he's not coming back. I'm sorry for deciding without you. The Pope isn't coming back? But now what? He was our shield! We've been betrayed! It is we, the Knights, who shield the Empire and its people! It is we who shoved our duties onto the Pope! It is we who are to blame for the consequences! Some things we must do ourselves, rather than depend on others. I swear on my lion's sword! On my lion's sword! Wait! No ordinary humans can hope to take on the Cardinal. You've done more than enough. I do not wish for you to bear the same painful burden that the Pope had to. You know, Saray, even if it is for the people, this is still a political battle. So what if it is? Well then, how about this? We'll investigate the Cardinal's possible involvement regarding the rain from our end. In the meantime, Sergei and the others can try to convince the Emperor to believe the Knights. So, ultimately Sergei means to fight the Cardinal after all? Our goal is just to clear up this mystery. Don't you want to know? Yes, I do. I'd like to find out if there truly is something causing the rain. I must apologize. It seems all I can do is put you in danger. I'm more worried about you. If the Emperor sides with the Cardinal or takes a hands-off approach, either way, you guys are screwed. If we can convince the Emperor, we should be able to capture the Cardinal. We'll get him to see the truth, for the people and our comrades. Boris was Sergei's brother, wasn't he? He was investigating the Cardinal. And he put his life on the line for it. Sergei seemed pretty calm about the whole thing. Do we really have to risk our necks out there for something like this? I think we do. I don't know about you, though. <laughs> no guards? This has got to be a trap. Things are going to get crazy from here on out. <laughs> you said it. Even so... This is some malevolence. Do you think that it could be Maltellus who's possessing the Cardinal? What did the cat in the bird mask say? Me owl! Felt like the domain had been restored for a second. Are terrible jokes also part of your oath? I... I was really proud of that one. I'm thinking it's not Maltellus. Why? Are you seriously Exio was a servant of Musa, like one of the five lords like Maltellus. I don't! 
This domain is rather strong, but not leaps and bounds different from Exios. Huh. When did you start making logical arguments? Looks like there's something nearby. There's something back there. It's a trap. Totally a trap. But... A hidden door? Seriously, how cool is that? I hate myself for saying it, but... So cool. The village chief knew the whole thing by heart, didn't he? Impressive. The shepherd is granted four powers. Earth, water, fire, and wind. They are the blade that shall cleave the Lord of Calamity. That's just what the village chief was saying. You memorized it? More or less. He's actually pretty decent at that sort of thing. I'm sorry, Saray. You're more capable than I thought. What did you take me for? But what exactly are the spiritual powers of the Shepherd? All of nature is composed of four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Each one is governed by one of the four eldest seraphim. Right. Eumacia, Amanach... Yusuf and Hyanua. Correct. The balance of the entire continent of Glenwood. When you put it that way, they sound almost like gods. Though, they lack a certain divine presence. We feel much the same, actually. They're ostensibly the source of our seraphic arts, but we're basically never aware of them. That's the nature of the Five Lords' existence. The Shepherd's spiritual powers are most likely the result of a fortification of elemental affinity through the blessings of the Five Lords. And all to battle against the Lord of Calamity. Kind of a shame that such wondrous power has to be squandered on fighting. He was a former shepherd, wasn't he? Yes. I see. He seemed like a pretty laid-back fellow. Unlike certain other shepherds. Shut up. Well, there's one more thing we learned. Yeah. Let's go on to the next one. Huh? Wait, you're not gonna ask her for more details? Wouldn't it be crazy useful to get info on your predecessor? There's a reason why Lila never mentioned it, don't you think? We know that much, at least. Saray, Miklio. But that reason just might be the key to all our problems. You better hope you don't regret it later. They may be kids, but they're not as immature as you'd think. Okay, 
Mission complete. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. There you go. We mustn't hold back! Yeah, let's get him! carries the burden of their own unique life with them. Maybe they all look the same to me because I haven't trained enough? Well, I can see why we'd all look alike to them at least. Hey now! Ruins. 
are calling me. Pretty good with arts and the way it looks. Don't judge a book by its cover. to us indeed. Ready? Not yet. Get lost! Sword flare! Lion's 
it's time to take a breather somewhere. Mention something? Hmm? This is something I realized when we met the Pope, but I believe it was Cardinal Fortin who preceded the motion for war. That chief we met? I can't see him making the decision to declare war like that. So, does that mean you're going to... You want to purify the Cardinal, don't you? I do. She may have become a Hellion, but I still believe that her sense of responsibility is sincere. If you purify her, I'm sure she can be saved. I think so too. All right, then. Let's give it a shot. I've got your back on this one. Rose, I... You don't need to say anything. It's just how things shook out.
can't hold back. There is one more way. Let's give it up. Can't afford to hold back. Let's do Burn. this! Let's do this! So is this what grown-ups are really like? Yeah, sounds like something a brat would say. <laughs> <laughs> 